Yo, what's good, guys? You already know what it is, bro. It's another day. Yo, welcome to Take That Tuesday. Well, technically, it's not Tuesday. I'm late, but you know, better late than never. Elgato, you know what I'm saying? They sent us a bunch of stuff that I did post on Twitter. Shout out to that boy, Gabe. You guys will see a bunch of Elgato products on here, including their newly released HD 60X. But we're not here today about that right now. Today, we're talking about the Razer Anzu Smart Glass. We're going to try to compare these versus the ones that y'all typically make jokes about me wearing the Amazon Echo frame. Yeah. They say that they want another one, so I'ma have them playing this one on repeat. Swear to God, I get love from the young and to hate from the ones that call themselves the OGs. There's a reason why I be doing what I'm doing. If you pay attention, you hear me. Yes, I gotta break it down for the ones in the back, cause you ain't understanding me clearly. So, another pair of smart glasses. I wasn't gonna go through the boring process of doing an unboxing because honestly, the unboxing experience is kind of boring. But we have two packages. It does show, of course, our thank you for purchase note, our smart glass manual. It also has a sunglass kit if you wanted to turn them from eyeglass to sunglasses as well. Comes with the pouch, the glasses themselves, of course, your charger. Other than that, the packaging was really self-explanatory. To be honest, after putting these on, like these actually look really nice like honestly I, I really like these a lot better than i like the amazon frames mainly because you can get multiple sizes on these versus the echo frames that only give you one size and also get the circular ones which personally i feel they're kind of ugly but i'm not gonna lie the rectangular ones is kind of cool they kind of cool so obviously i had to go ahead and get the large model because you know i have like a wider face granted you know the boy lost weight and lost over 100 pounds you know what i'm saying congratulate me in the comments congratulate me in the comments when it comes to smart glasses i actually use them for their purposes it, it's a lot of circumstances where it's though I could be lazy to be honest you're just being lazy but these I can definitely see myself wearing these on a longer period of time now the echo frames I currently don't have when we actually left in my apartment in California but one thing that I do like the most about it is the blue lens you know filtering which the echo frame standardly did not come with that right after I got right after I bought them that's when they came out with the version for blue frames to reflect blue light but you know they do have that as an option so at least you guys know that much as of the date of this video the echo frames are currently going for 249.99 which you can probably find them for a renewed price less than that maybe possibly i i don't know i don't like buying you stuff the amazon echo frames it makes it a lot more convenient because i do use a in my house i have siri in my house as well so I do kind of use both of them. I jump back and forth between the two. But all of my routines are set up with Alexa because, of course, you know, Alexa has a lot more third-party products because Apple wants to be a bunch of assholes. But, you know, I'm not going to get into that. Example, when I wake up in the morning, one of the first things that I do, I'll take them off, put them on, and then I'll say, let's get it. And when I say that, that's when the vacuum start on the second floor uh, to vacuum the hallways and stuff like that. And then that's when she starts to tell me all of the bulletins and everything that's going on. Uh, you know, all the stuff that's going on in the world right now, the current weather and the time. So it's pretty kind of accurate right there. Or when I'm going to bed, I'll say good night. And you know, that's when she turns off everything. So she'll turn off all the TVs, including the TVs in here. And then she'll turn off the lights everywhere. All the televisions in the house. She'll, she'll turn off, you know, she'll turn off everything. Those curtains will lock the door. So in reality, you know, it does make it kind of a little bit of a convenience, but in reality, you could just use it on your phone. That's just, just me being a tech guy. Now these, on the other hand, when it comes to these, they do not carry Alexa or any smart software whatsoever in them. These are literally speaker glasses. So like when I'm in the middle of streaming, for example, and I'll get a notification, let's just say if I got a text message or something like that, she will go ahead and read it because it is connected to my iPhone. So what Siri says, it does come through. So I have to take my eyes off. You know, it is a little bit convenient, but you know, other than that, you can listen to music on these babies. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You can listen to music on both. The music isn't the best because the headphones are not directly in your ear, but you do get to hear that. It sounds really good though. I'm not gonna lie to you. Plus you got the blue lens, so you can sit there and wear these for hours. It definitely makes it a lot more convenient on your eyes for you to go ahead and, you know, stare at monitors all day like, like I did. Cause you know, I ain't got a fucking life. Also know that these are voice assistant compatible, which means you can, you know, have them work with Siri and things like that. So if you wanted to go ahead and talk to Siri through your glasses, you can do that. So I will say it doesn't take the voice assistant completely away, but you take the convenience of Alexa being directly in your glasses. Um, 
you know what I'm saying, directly from you. So that, you know, that that's kind of an inconvenient. But in all honesty, I am not saying this for any benefit whatsoever. I personally feel that these are the best, better bang for your buck. I'm not gonna lie to you. I love Amazon and I love their products. Um, this is a good investment if you just want that convenience of having Alexa, but without water resistance, without blue lens flickering, they do have a blue lens model. This honestly just puts Amazon on your face. So if you do, if you're like me, I've won everywhere in here. I, I got them everywhere. So it's just kind of like, once you think about it, it's not so bad. So I can't speak to my glasses. I could just, these have the ability to go low latency. So when you're actually playing games, you'll be able to hear everything in real time when you're playing. Now, I don't know about you, Cuz, but I, I don't think if I'm going to be playing a game on my phone, on, a, on anything, even my phone, like, I don't think... I won't want to play it on my glasses. Like, it's a good feature. I like it. I like it. You know, but I, I just don't. Under, like, who the fuck is going to play on their glasses, guys? Like, do you know? Because I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I, are you going to do that shit? So with that being said, which one would you prefer? Do you prefer the Echo Frames with the Alexa ability and paying all the extra money? Or would you prefer these that are less than half the price and you still get smart phone compatibility, which means you can still talk to Siri or if you got an Android the other thing we i don't know what it is because i'm ignorant to android so to break these things down they both have blue light filtering both of them can work with siri and both of them could technically work with alexa they both have built-in mics and built-in speakers that personally both of them sound good to me these have low latency audio which these do not have versus this one that has the alexa feature which makes your life a lot more convenient if you have a uh, high Alexa smart home economy. Plus these have polarized glass lenses. So if you want to turn these into sunglasses, you can versus these where you'll actually have to purchase the sunglasses version. The winner goes to these. I'm not gonna lie to you. There's a lot more that these carry for a lot more in the budget. Plus if you wanna download the Alexa app on your phone, you can honestly use the Alexa feature. You gotta press some buttons to activate it, but nonetheless, you can actually do it, you know? So if you wanna pay a game of glasses, you know what I'm saying? If you definitely wanna pay with these, you can definitely click the link in the description. These have these glasses are actually not bad. So that about wraps up this Take That Tuesday. I hope you guys actually enjoyed. I know you guys want more games. Everybody that's new to the channel from TikTok or any other platform that y'all came from, I appreciate you. Please go ahead and drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please, you know what I'm saying? We play a lot of things over here. We have games over here. We have a lot of VR games. We got a bunch, just games, cuz. There's a lot of them. If you would like to see reactions and things like that, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel right here. You can go ahead and follow me on Twitch. I stream Mondays through Fridays. And uh, we have a lot. We have a big community over there. Join the Discord. There's over 3,000 members. A bunch of us are active. We would appreciate the support over there as well. Much love to y'all, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Have a good night, y'all. Yes, sir. Hello?